Hey everyone, today is day three of our prayer shift where we are allowing the prayer that Jesus taught us, often called the Lord's Prayer, but it's really our prayer to pray. He gave it to us. Um, we are allowing that prayer to shift in us, our focus from singular to plural, our allegiances from many distractions back to the one allegiance, the one who loves us, our concerns from me and mine to others, and the, our training in forgiveness. Maybe an easy way to remember it is that it is a fact that the Lord's Prayer shifts these things in us. And so if today is your first day with us, we have been uh, using something. We've been using the Bible, of course. You'll want to turn to Matthew chapter 6, verse 9. If you have a Bible app, you can look it up and uh, just begin to write this out. And that's what we've done. We've taken our journal, so you'll need a piece of paper at least, and a pen, something to write with, and we've been using some highlighters and things like that. But you'll want to, right now, go ahead and write out the Lord's Prayer. Uh, and write it kind of in the center so you have the margins where you can, you can write some things in the margins. And we've been doing that each day, allowing this prayer to shift uh, a different thing each day. And today, we're going to look at how this prayer shifts our concerns from me and mine to others, to include, it expands it maybe, to open it up, to allow us to look at our daily bread and give us, that it's not just give me or give my family, but give us, look out at the broader context of what is needed in our world. And so we want to, to do that here in just a second, but we've always been beginning each time by taking a moment to quiet our hearts and then to pray the prayer that Jesus taught us as it is written uh, before we move into this guided time of prayer. So let's bow our heads and, uh, and quiet our hearts before the Lord. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Well, as I've already mentioned today, we're going to be talking about how this prayer shifts our concerns from just me or mine to look out at the world, to look in our communities at what those needs are. Now, it's not that our needs get thrown to the side or pushed out. There is space for that. That word, us, I was informed yesterday by my mom, who's an English teacher, uh, that they weren't uh, plural nouns or collective nouns, as I was mentioning, that they are plural pronouns. So thank you, mom, for letting me know that. Uh, but we're going to look specifically at the phrase today, give us this day our daily bread. So when we have that plural pronoun, us, and our. It includes my needs. It includes your needs. It includes the needs of the immediate community right around us. But it also pushes us 
and stretches us so that we include and begin to look outward in our world. So here's what I want us to do. I'm gonna take my red pen. I've got a red pen because that just really grabs your attention. I'm gonna circle the, uh, the plural pronoun uh, that, that are there. Give us this day our daily bread. Circling the us and the our. And then just like we have in the past, I'm gonna draw a couple of lines out from there. And here's what I think we should do today. As we look at that, take one of those lines and write my needs out there, my needs. And maybe you wanna create a little box that's there and go ahead and take a few minutes, bow your heads, and just reflect on what are your needs. Maybe they are uh, physical needs. Maybe you're in need of healing from sickness. Maybe you are in need of daily bread. Maybe you are in need of finances or work, whatever that might be. It's okay. Write down what your needs are. So go ahead, take a moment and just list a couple. Maybe you know. Okay, you've written a few of those down. Now, take another red line off of there and, uh, and then include uh, a, a place that says community needs or immediate community needs. So this would be like your family needs, uh, maybe your extended family that you're a part of, maybe your church community, uh, somebody somewhere where you're intimately involved. You're, you're a part of that uh, community's fabric. You're, you're with them. You know their needs. Um, go ahead and take a few minutes and just write out a few of those. We're bringing those uh, to our Father. Go ahead and do that. Now we're doing this fairly quickly, but I just want you to know you can take all the time you need, even if you need to bring out another sheet of paper uh, to begin listing these needs. It's just good to get in the habit of, of acknowledging before God what those needs really are. So we've done my needs, we've done my immediate community needs. Now, it's okay to go out larger. This is where we allow God to stretch us. So maybe you wanna write out a, a, a larger box and put this as community or world needs. So maybe you know the needs of your neighborhood. Maybe you know the needs of your town or your city. Maybe you know, uh, you have a, a special place in your heart for somewhere in the world where people are suffering or in need of physical things, bread, shelter. Um, think about this. It begins to change maybe how you even read the newspaper. Um, as you read about some of these things going on in our world, I said newspaper, or surfing the internet, looking at Google News or whatever, uh, wherever you get your news source, to begin to write some of those things down as a part of your prayer life. Not something that's shoved over in an entirely different world, but we're bringing. Remember, as we prayed yesterday, that God's will and reigning would be on earth as it is in heaven. So you bring that in to your prayer life. So take a few moments, think about world needs, your community needs, and write a few of those things down in that box that you've written off to the side.
I'll give you a few examples of what I wrote. Uh, we had a, a tragedy here in our uh, homeless community in Kalamazoo where a propane tank exploded. And so I want to remember their needs, not just for um, you know, those who were injured, but the, the homeless community in and of itself. Uh, wisdom for leaders in our country, uh, thinking about for, for some reason, uh, country of Haiti was on my on my heart this morning and continued earthquake recovery in Croatia a place that we visited uh, summer before last and so uh, you bring all of these together and so then as you pray this prayer that Jesus gave us you can pause when you say give us this day our daily bread you can pause and then go back through your list and verbalize this to God so that my needs in the daily bread are and list them out. And God, my community has these needs. Give us those things for daily bread. And our world is in need of these things. Um, and you, you verbalize those. So you see how this prayer begins to work and shift as we allow his reigning and his kingdom and his will to be done on earth, our space, just like it is in heaven, his space. When those overlap, it begins to transform people's lives and the, the lives of those around us. So I invite you to take this and spend as much time as you feel you need tonight to do this and begin to incorporate this part in. So now we have all kinds of lines and things going everywhere. You can see right there um, how this is shifting and changing. And uh, but let's finish as we have been. We'll quiet our hearts again. We'll pray this. And then I'm going to invite you to just take two to five minutes after we're done tonight and just continue to write out a little bit and to pray some of these things out loud between you and God. But let's go ahead, quiet our hearts again. We'll pray the prayer again, and you'll have these things in your mind as you say those phrases. But let's, let's quiet our hearts. as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Would you do me a favor before you go tonight? I think this would be fun. For those of you who are watching, whenever you're watching, would you leave a comment for us? in the Down, in, down below, whether you're watching this on uh, YouTube or on Facebook, go in there and leave a comment of one of the world needs that you're going to be praying for. I think it'd be fun to read what those world needs are, and we can begin incorporating that, and we can do that together as we pray, give us this day our daily bread. So would you do that? Go ahead and do that right now. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll be back again tomorrow at the same time as we continue to allow the Lord's Prayer that he gave to us to shift our focus, our allegiances, our concerns, and our training in forgiveness. I hope you'll join us again. Thanks so much. Have a great night.